Hi, my name is Andres Fasmino. And I'm Nicolas Gonzalez. Welcome to Earthrise Space Incorporated. Today we're going to introduce our high speed lathe. Here at ESI, we keep our machines locked and powered off at all times because we value safety. Whenever the machine is not in use, we keep the emergency button depressed at all times. To engage the machine, grab the red button and turn it clockwise till it pops out. Whenever you're machining, make sure there are no distractions nearby. On our headstock assembly, we have an instrument panel that has a number of levers, switches, and knobs. This lever here changes the spindle speed from a high gear to a low gear. Below here we have RPMs in which we could change this lever and engage different velocities for our spindle. This will change our feed direction. This green light here signifies that there's main power onto the lathe. This is our main power kill on and off. This will engage and disengage our coolant. This is the emergency bu stop button we showed earlier. This button will turn the truck slightly and these knobs will change the feed speeds to various settings. To begin, you disengage the e-stop. You grab this one of our tools, you put it into the tool post, slide it in as so, and make sure this is really tight. Give it a few taps in order to make sure it's tight. Here on our tool post, we have two directions. This will control our X direction, and this will control our Z direction. As you can see over here, when we make changes, our digital display will show them accordingly. To activate the lathe spinning clockwise, you're going to bring the lever out and move it up. To disengage it, you bring it down. To move it counterclockwise, you're going to bring it out, bring it down, and do the same to stop it. In order to stop the machine at any moment, you can hit this foot brake, which will engage a brake that will stop the spindle. This is the chuck key. It is used to tighten the jaws on the chuck. First you place a stock inside the chuck as so. Then you tighten the jaws using the chuck key. Once that's tight and secure, you move on to the next key slot and repeat. And then once more. Now your stock is nice and secured inside the chuck. Listen up, this is important. Never leave the chuck key in the chuck. This can result injuries and damages to the machine and the surroundings. Once you're done with your piece, break the machine, power it off, and lock it. Remember, this is just like using the bathroom. Once you're done, clean up. Well, I hope you learned something and had some fun. And remember, stay safe. My name's Andres Pasmino. Nicolas Gonzalez. See you next time.